so exciting. I just love them. Welcome back to my channel. Today is try on day. I've got a runway show coming up in a couple of weeks for a charity organization and we are starting the try ons and the fittings today. So the first model is coming in today and then I've got the rest coming in next week. But I thought I would bring you along and see what you think of the try ons. Um, and if you liked the choices that I made um, in what gown goes on which model. So, just like normal people, models do not have a perfect figure. So even though they're generically a size eight, um, they can still be a column shape or they can still be a pear shape. So getting the right gown on the right model is actually really crucial to the gowns looking spectacular and them matching the style of the person. So um, that's what I'll be going through today and I basically handpicked a selection of gowns that I'll be trying on each model um, and then I'll be sort of rating those gowns, taking some photos and then referring back and then once all the models are in and they've done all their fittings then I can allocate what dress goes on who. And then I'll do a running order for the event. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I hope you find it interesting and exciting. You'll see a few gowns um, that have been part of my last collection, my 2018 spring summer collection. And um, I might have to pull some extras in there as well um, because some of the models are slightly different sizing and my sample size is normally a size eight. So I do have other gowns outside of my samples that um, basically are a different size so we'll see i just want to uh, have a look at this first model she's pretty generic size size eight so um and see how we go with her so shortly we're going to meet laura i'll leave a link to her um instagram or profile below so you can check her out but she's a model for victoria's models um which is a modeling agency in canberra and they have some great models, so I'm, you know, I've never really worked with this agency before, so it's going to be interesting to um, have a look at the collabora of models. I know that they're very professional, so that's great. Um, so this is Laura, and this is our boho gown. This looks really beautiful on you. <laughs>
gorgeous. She has a beautiful personality um, and so many of my gowns looked great on her. Uh, so the selection is quite high for her. She probably looks good in about three or four of the, of the six or seven. So that means um, her options are really great. Uh, my favorite on her is the Cleopatra gown, which is that first gown with the high neck and um, the lace, uh, beautiful lace trim around the hem. I think that style really suited her. I think the neckline was perfect for her. Um, she's got quite a, a column shape. So that kind of style kind of really enhances her shape a little bit. So I'd like to see her in that um, with a close second um, of the V-neck, the lace, beautiful lace uh, boho gown with the chiffon skirt. I think that looked really sweet on her as well and sort of really suited her look. So they're sort of my two runners up for her, um, but I look forward to seeing all the other models and seeing what would actually look good on them and what would suit them. And hopefully they don't suit the ones that Laura suited. So crossing our fingers um, but I've made my notes and I've also taken a lot of photos so that I can refer back to it so that I can also make my run sheet well it's the next week and I'm just about to step into two more fittings today with some models for the event um, I've got Sharon just about to come in and Sharon is actually a size 10 to 12, that's what the sheet tells me, but I've noticed that she's a bit of a pear shape, so she's sort of an, a size 8 on top, but more of a 10 to 12 down the bottom. Um, so that means I'm going to have to be a little bit tricky with what I put her in, and maybe try and put her in some A-lines or some ball gowns so that she can fit into the gowns, and for them to look balanced on her shape. So it's going to be a little bit of an interesting try on today. Um, she will be trying on some gowns that Laura tried on the other day, but not all of them. And she'll be trying on a bunch of other gowns that probably no one else would be able to put on. So um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I hope you enjoy this fitting. Okay, so this is Sharon in our beautiful tanned gown. Get you to turn for me. Sharon's got some lovely tattoos going on. Beautiful. I don't mind that on you. Yeah. I would just add a little bit of lace on that bodice. The bodice fits you really well. It actually fits you quite well. Like it does. In the... It does. Yep. Just turn around. just had the fitting with Sharon and she was so lovely. Um, she was a little bit nervous about trying on wedding dresses because she is a mature model. Um, so I had to make sure that the dresses that we were trying on would actually suit her um, and not look like she's trying to be 20. So, um, so that was, I guess, more that was of more importance to me of getting it to suit her rather than the fit. Her actual shape, um, 
was a little bit deceiving because I thought she was a 10 to 12 but in actual fact she fit most of my gowns with no problem with a little bit of snugness around the bum around the hip area um, but she pretty much fit every single one so it was just a matter of finding the right one that actually suited her uh, and I think we did that with um, the last gown which was the v-neck the low v-neck I thought it looked elegant it looked beautiful um, <clears throat> the, the length and the hem was perfect uh, I think she will look absolutely stunning and I really thought I was gonna have to put her in a colored gown so that she wouldn't look too much like a bride but in actual fact she looks even more beautiful in that ivory color and she looks like a mature bride you know so and i get a lot of clients like that i get a lot of mature brides i get um, people that are coming back for their second or third wedding and they just want something simple they want something easy they want something relaxed um, they don't want anything too over the top and they just want something elegant uh, and that's exactly how that dress looked on her so i am so pleased at how that fitting went. I'm definitely going to add that mesh panel for her in the front of the bodice um, just because I think it will make it sit a lot flatter along her chest. Uh, she really has a beautiful bodice for that gown. The low V um, looks great because she's not extremely busty. And I find that when you're showing a lot of cleavage or when you've got a plunging neckline, when you're too booby, it can look a bit too pornographic. So I like to have my models a little bit smaller on top when I've got them in something low, low cut like that. Um, really hope you enjoyed that fitting. I'm super pumped for the next one. The next model I have in is Catherine. She is a standard size eight. Um, and I think she's going to look good in a lot of my gowns. Uh, she has, she has blonde hair, um, and is quite young. So I'm going to see what gowns look the best on her. And I'm going to pretty much put her in as many as I can possibly fit her in, uh, and see which ones work. So really, really excited. I've already got my top two gowns for the last two models. So um, I hope that maybe I can get her, get Catherine into a ball gown or something a little bit more extravagant um, because I need a wow closing piece for the show. So I'm thinking the sheer ball gown might be the way for her to go. <clears throat> and if that looks great, then she's going to wear that. So this is Catherine and she looks beautiful in this sheer ball gown. The height is pretty good as well. You might have to watch your step as you're walking, but it's pretty much touching the ground, so that'd be great. It fits you really nicely. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
just had my last fitting for today with Catherine. She was so, so sweet. Um, really beautiful girl. And as you saw, she pretty much looked good in just about any dress. So she's going to be a real chameleon for me um, and a good filler. Um, so there's a couple of gowns that I really want in the collection in the runway show. And if I can't get any other model to wear one of those gowns, I will put one of those gowns on Catherine because she looks great in them. My first couple of favorite picks would be the sheer ball gown at the start, but we'll need to work out the right cup situation um, for her. The tanned dress, uh, the short tan dress was beautiful on her as well. And so was the V-neck lace um, chiffon skirt boho dress which I really think suited her style and her personality so uh, it'll be interesting to see what I get to put on her at the end of the day um, I think she can look good in just about anything she's got a perfect figure with the right height um, and really there was only one gown that was I think a little bit too long for her so I'll need to get higher shoes if I decide to go with that dress it is now Saturday and I'm just about to hop into a fitting with Emily. I'm hoping she's going to be a really good size 8 that will fit a lot of my gowns. So um, I should be able to allocate my gowns possibly on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so that's in about three or four days. It's getting really close to the event so I really want to basically sort it all out and get organised. Um, I think Emily's going to look absolutely amazing in a lot of these gowns, so really looking forward to this fitting. <laughs> so this is Emily looking beautiful in this dress. Just to get you to turn for me. A little bit long, so it's got a split, so you have to use that when you um, walk if you get this gown. Emily in the ball gown. Gorgeous. The length seems okay. You'll need slightly higher shoes, but with slightly higher shoes, that'll be perfect. It's a give and it's a take. It's a whole lot of heartbreaks. I'm hoping I could change that with you. It's a slow and steady beat And I feel it when you're near me So keep you close and let you steer my feet It's a passing of a day It's an ebb and flow of change It's a constant thought of someone next to me It's a wind upon my face As I'm driving off to run away It's known for the moment I'm Reaching out for answers to the questions that I have Not finding motivation in the moments that we share There's someone on my mind whose eyes will see each time I sleep I'm hoping for a moment that you'll be here next to me For now I just keep sleeping so I dream I'm not alone And one day I will reach you I hope one day to breathe close my eyes I just had my fitting with Emily and I absolutely loved the pink champagne off the shoulder lace gown on her the mermaid style um, I felt that the color was beautiful on her that dropped lace sleeve really softened her look um, and the dress gave her amazing shape so I would definitely love to put her in that gown, but I really have to wait and see all the, the models first before I can allocate, but that is definitely my number one pick. Um, and seeing as four models have already come in out of the six, I think uh, that that's probably going to be a winner for her.
that would be very exciting if she gets to wear that. I think it was by far my favourite. Um, so yes, two more fittings to go over the next week. Um, and then we can allocate and work on the running sheets. It is go, go, go today. I am just about to pop into my very last fitting for one of the models at the event on the weekend. But as soon as she's done, I'm gonna to have to whip over to the dressmakers, pick up the gowns that have been altered, um, the rest of the gowns, and start doing the running sheets and organizing shoes and um, accessories for the models and putting them all in bags so that they're pretty much all organized for the pickup this afternoon. So it is a massive day today, really, really busy. Um, but I hope um, after today I can breathe a little bit easy and know that this task is done. So, whew, looking forward to meeting this model, Alyssa. Um, it took us a couple of goes to get a time that we were both um, available. So, um, I have met her before many, many years ago and she's lovely. So, I really, really hope um, that we can get something that looks amazing on her without too much alteration just because it's so last minute um, and I really only have today to do the alterations. So, fingers crossed that this fitting goes well. Love of money, lust and greed, fame and fortune be done with me I'm way past ready show me a better kind of love when I was little couldn't wait to fly a million miles later Wondering why you're my solid ground and you show me a better kind of love. Oh, mm -hmm.
this is no 